take your diet with you anywhere you go. No longer need a weight control program be followed only at home. Even on vacation, fits your way of life, deliciously pleasing by any standard. Happy morning time, gang. It is day six today. It's the home stretch. We're beyond the halfway point and we're feeling amazing today. Yesterday, a ton of low back pain. I know for sure it was coming from my gut after today. That's too much information. I'm sexy, I know, but that's what cleanses are for, right? I had a lot of muscle pain, similar to growing pains, if you remember that from when you were a child. <sighs> today, I have no pain. My sleep is getting better. I am actually sleeping through the night now. No pain at all. I am doing so well. I'm a lot more hungry today. <laughs> I did burn more calories yesterday just doing daily activities. I am not exercising on this cleanse. It is not advised to because even with the flex foods, you are only getting somewhere between 580 to 1,000 calories daily. These are calories that are totally superfood. They're packed with nutrients, vitamins, minerals, so you don't really need any more on the cleanse. You also are taking amino acid profile pills, which means you are putting on muscle slash keeping your muscle while you're on this cleanse. I have lost now over five pounds. I started at 124.9 weighed in today at 118.9 pounds. I'm not losing any muscle. No muscle is atrophying on this cleanse and yet I've still lost over five pounds of gunk, of toxins, of water retention, of fat. This is burning any excess fat that I was carrying on my body, attacking that visceral fat that kind of sets in around the organs that we don't really want. So yeah, day six is good. I only have today and then four more days. It's like when you're doing cardio and you're like, oh, I only have to do 10 minutes four more times. That's how I feel. <laughs> anyway, I'm feeling amazing. Have an awesome day. I'll check in with you tomorrow. Early the next morning. It's day seven today. That is so exciting. The longer this goes, the fastest it goes. So at least there's that. I'm not missing food. I do want to eat different things, but I have no craving. I'm definitely not missing anything unhealthy. I'm really excited to get all of the veggies back in my life and start cooking new dishes coming out of this cleanse. I will be vlogging that for you, sharing my recipes and showing you what I'm gonna eat in a day, my meals to keep these results. I am up a pound today. I was 118.9 yesterday. Today I'm 119.6. I did eat a ton of flex food yesterday. I am carrying right now a food baby of celery and cucumber. Also, apples do not digest well for me. They are very low in digestive enzymes. You can tell that by when you keep them on the counter, say next to pears, the pears are gonna degrade a lot faster than the apples. They just don't carry as many digestive enzymes. I do find them a little hard on my gut, but I love them and they're a flex food and they keep me full longer, so. I'm enjoying apples. I am hungry in the mornings now, much hungrier than I was when I was going through the initial detox stages of days three and four. I have absolutely no pain whatsoever. I am gonna be out and about a bit today, so I just wanted to take a minute to show you what it looks like when you're out and about. Oh, and here was my breakfast today. Avocado, raspberries, cucumber slices, that kept me full for a while. If you take advantage of the flex foods, you are full between the shakes. You don't get hungry. The sleep is a little bit bothersome. Around 10 is when I close my eyes to go to sleep each night. And then I'm waking up in between 4.30 a.m. and 5 a.m. and I'm just awake. So I don't know, I guess all the superhuman effects, but the proper circadian rhythm sleeping times are 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. I do stick with that in my daily life. I prefer that. I don't enjoy staying up late anymore, but being 35. I'm too old for this shit. Don't care. Go have your parties. I'll be at home cozy and I'll see ya when the sun is shining. Good morning. Good morning. Here is a little tour of what I'm taking around for today. Got a bag of chopped up celery and cucumber. These are the two shakes. I add water to them when I am about to drink them because it's more nutrient dense if you add the water right away and blend right away. Perium has got it right with this little supplement carrier. These are the two other doses. I already took one dose of supplements that I will be taking twice more today. 
That screws on to the bottom of this cup. Handy dandy, take it around. My trusty apple. That is what is kicking for my travels. Avocados I save for breakfast and then a before bed snack if I'm hungry at nighttime, a little bit after the last shake. I'm trying to follow the intermittent fasting idea of this cleanse, which is maybe why I'm up weight today is because I did not follow that last night. I was hungry before bed. I was having a hard time trying to fall asleep because I was so hungry. I did a lot of activity yesterday, so that could be why. However, you shouldn't be eating regardless three hours before you go to bed. This is because the parasympathetic nervous system, which governs your rest, repair, digestion, metabolization, assimilation, that needs to kick in and come online. If we are eating right before bed, our body is working on digesting that food as work rather than the rest and repair that we really are needing that nervous system to be taken care of within our cellular structure. It's science. So here goes day seven. Catch you day eight. The next morning. Happy day eight. That means there's only two more days after today. Okay, last night was finally my last straw mentally when it came to this sleep issue. I'm making that beer. Good night. I am peeing constantly. I realize that is my own sort of fault because I am drinking a lot of herbal tea and I don't like going to bed on a completely empty stomach. So I do have my last fiber and cherry shake a little bit closer to bedtime. Today, I weighed in at 119.3. I think I'm leveling out now at my real dry weight, my true weight, otherwise known as, you know, the, the weight of your skeleton, your own natural muscular system and whatnot. Yesterday, my legs were bothering me a little bit. I did overwork my legs a lot, though. I was walking a lot, and then when the cleanse came around, I decided not to walk at all. I think I'll go home now. And so I think I'm feeling the fatigue that my legs had in them already. So honestly though, every single little ache and pain, every negative physical symptom has had a positive thought attached to it in my brain. Bad things lead to good things. Because all of these negative physical symptoms are showing you what you have done to your body and the clarity I now feel. You can see how clear my skin is. Everything is clearing up. I have zero strength because of this cleanse. But yeah, I'm feeling all right. I'm feeling better. Let's get on with this day eight. I can't believe it's finally day eight. I'll see you day nine check-in. One eternity later. Hello, my gang. Welcome to day nine. We have hit a little bit of a road bump here. Things don't always go as planned, and that is okay. What happened is that I tend to pack down the scoops of my protein and level it off with my finger when I'm making a shake. Nope, not supposed to be doing that. And it's too to contact somebody from Curium and tell them that tomorrow is my last day, but I only have one and a half shakes left for tomorrow. No, I'm gonna starve. You're supposed to have three shakes a day. And my fiber, this fiber powder I'm drinking every night, I'm supposed to have one scoop left for tonight and tomorrow, and I have half a scoop left for tonight, none for tomorrow. You're totally screwed. Yikes. If you ever do this, it says, do not pack down the scoops. <laughs> no. They did advise me to just finish what I've got tomorrow and then continue the rest of my day with flex food. So that for me would be like half an apple plus half an avocado plus a bunch of celery sticks plus a bunch of cucumber or whatnot. There are different flex foods or soups, things like that. So it's going to be interesting. Today I did weigh in at 19.6 pounds again. So my weight has stayed level over the past three days. This does tell me that that is my true weight. I am sleeping now, getting the best deep sleeps I have ever had. My dreams are so real, so vivid. I remember them not only when I wake up, but throughout the entire rest of the day. It's nuts. I'm still motivated, I have energy. Yesterday, I did help a friend move. That was bad news bears on this cleanse, let me tell you. How do I move? If I bend my knees, my legs are gonna break off. I was 
so drained. I got home around sometime in the afternoon and I couldn't do anything. Like I couldn't even bring myself to get in the car and go get more flex foods for today. I was, I was absolutely, completely toast. Maybe I can just crawl like this all day. Wasn't good. This morning I am exhausted, but I have enough mental energy and a little bit of physical energy, so I'm gonna take it easy today. I'm so excited we're nearing the end. One slash a little bit more days to go, so I'm actually going to take my final results tomorrow morning, the measurements. Normally you take them on day 11, your last weight, your last measurements, just to see the actual progress. So I'm gonna do it tomorrow morning, because I'm not sure how I'm gonna deal with the end of tomorrow or what that's gonna do for water retention. Sometimes the body does rebound just slightly, which will come off within the next week when you add in the normal foods again. So we'll see what's going on with that. Stay tuned for the pics. Hello gang, guess what? We made it, survived to day 10. Oh my Lord. Today is the day that I actually feel superhuman. <laughs> The sleeps I'm getting are incredible. I'm finally able to sleep from 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. It is absolutely perfect. I have zero pain. I do not need, nor do I miss caffeine. Not one bit. If you give yourself the chance, trust me, it sucks. I'm not gonna lie, that flipping sucked in the beginning. Near the end, it felt good. I have no desire to go eat a big meal or I wanna go have a burger or anything like that. Absolutely no desire. By the way, I'm just on my way to a haircut, so I couldn't put any product in this mop. I'm a hot mess. But we're gonna just roll with that today because it's check-in time and life goes on. Anyways, yeah, I have no craving. Fries were a serious part of my life. It's like deep fried crack. They're still going to be a part of my life. I am going to still enjoy everything in moderation. This morning I was 118.9 pounds. Also, my face completely cleared up. I forgot to mention that. I have no breakouts anywhere. Completely clear. It's fantastic. The bags under my eyes, pretty much gone. I rewound my age, seriously. And I was also looking online at photos of people before and after caffeine. Look at this, this, this person. Before and after coming off caffeine. It's not good for you. My journey through this 10 days should be a testament to that. Anyways, I measured myself. I lost a half an inch all around. Half an inch on my hips, on my waist. I lost a whole inch below the belly button of inflammation. That's nuts. I feel so incredible. When you weigh yourself and the weight is going down, but you measure yourself and the measurements are either staying the same or getting bigger, you are gaining muscle. My biceps actually grew a little bit, as did my quads and hamstrings. Like I said, I messed up a little bit when it came to ingesting everything already. I did manage to get two shakes left for today. I should have three. I have no fiber, so I'm gonna take a side note fiber supplement tonight, all natural, of course. So that's what's going on for shakes and trying to stick to the regular routine. And then I'm just gonna add in an extra flex food and then including the three flex foods in between. So I'm actually kind of excited about that. I have been eating apples in the last end of this challenge, not more than the challenge recommends, which is only three flex foods a day, but just to get my gut a little bit used to eating harder foods, I am going to do this ease out 100% properly so I'm gonna check in with you in one week's time and then I'm gonna do a one month update and see how I maintain see how I've been living like I said I'm not gonna go super strict uber healthy I'm just going to live my best life for me so cliche cheesy resembling or containing cheese and as I do eat gluten-free dairy-free on a daily basis and day-to-day -day life I eat those things at special occasions and such I don't eat a lot of meat to be honest but I am very good at food combining being that I am in the field of nutrition so drum roll please subscribe to this channel for the one week and the one month check-ins. Please hit that little bell icon down below if you would like notifications of when these two videos come out because 
You're gonna wanna see. I wanna see what happens. I did the master cleanse. I got 10 pounds with interest back within a month, so let's check this out. Please comment below if you have any questions or comments, if you want any more information on any other topics, if you have any Q&A things you wanna throw out there, comment below. Until next time, have super amounts of fun in your life. Have super amounts of fun challenging yourself on something that really does challenge you, but allows you to be healthier for it in the end. Bye.